when civilizations come into crisis, they inevitably, one of their strategies for survival is to cast back to an earlier period of time, an earlier cultural ideal, and then to try to exemplify prehistoric sacral values. And this process has been going on for 50 years. And I think this is what is to come, and it is a kind of telepathy. But it's not telepathy as we imagine it to be. Looking into your head and looking into your head and looking into your head. And it is open-ended. The modality of meaning is shifted out of the common dictionary that is a cultural convention and into a shared visual topology which is examined by both parties, both the speaker who caused this thing to be, and the audience who shares the space where this is happening. That this nostalgia for the archaic world is coming to an end, this is a culmination, this is the peculiar thing that we all sense is coming, that we can't quite imagine that is synthetic yet natural, that is obvious yet hidden.
And when you finally achieve enlightenment, you think there's nothing you can say anymore. And anything you say must be misunderstood. That's the proof that you're enlightened. <laughs> if you're a perfect black hole, you must be incomprehensible. No information must leave you. 